Okay, in this example, we're asked to compute cosine of alpha minus beta. Uh, and we're told here that uh, cosine of alpha is equal to three-fifths and that alpha is in the fourth quadrant. And we're also told that tangent of beta is negative three-eighths and that beta is in the second quadrant. So we want to find the cosine of alpha minus beta. Cosine of alpha minus beta here. So first thing we do for cosine alpha minus beta is we use our identity. So that means to compute cosine alpha minus beta. I don't know alpha, I don't know beta. But what I do have is some information about alpha and beta. So to be able to compute their difference, though, I need to know cosine alpha, and I need to know cosine beta. And I need to know sine alpha and sine beta. Of those four things that I need to have here, the only one I know right off the bat is cosine of alpha is 3 fifths. So this problem takes something that we've done before, and it combines it it combines the thing that we did before with um, <clears throat> this identity, right? Because we've done problems where if I know cosine alpha, uh, I can figure out sine alpha by drawing a picture. If I know tangent beta, then I can figure out cosine of beta or sine of beta. So remember what we do for something like we know cosine alpha is 3 fifths. We know we're in the fourth quadrant then we can draw a picture like this. We can draw a picture like alpha here in the third quadrant. And we know that cosine is 3 fifths. That's adjacent over hypotenuse. And then we can use Pythagorean theorem to find the third side, which gets a negative sign here because we're in the fourth quadrant where the y value is negative. It's below the axis. Right. And we can do the same thing with our tangent beta here. We can do the same thing with tangent beta. It's equal to negative 3 eighths. We're in the second quadrant. So I draw the picture so that beta is in the second quadrant. Drop my perpendicular there. And we know tangent is opposite side over adjacent side. Since we're in the Second quadrant, the opposite side gets the positive sign for that negative 3 eighths. That's the, uh, the 3. And the uh, adjacent side gets the negative value. So that together they give us negative 3 eighths. And then we just use our Pythagorean theorem to solve for the hypotenuse again. And in this case, get it to be square root of 73. Okay, so now that we have the pictures for alpha and for beta, we're ready to just use those diagrams to compute everything. And so we do that. Cosine of alpha, so we move down to here, cosine of alpha is adjacent over hypotenuse, so three-fifths. Uh, cosine of beta is adjacent over hypotenuse, so minus eight over square root of 73 plus from the formula sine alpha so we're back over here sine alpha is the opposite over the hypotenuse negative four fifths and sine of beta is the opposite three over the hypotenuse square root of 73 okay and then all i've done here now is taking that expression and simplified 3 times minus 8 is minus 24. Minus 4 times 3 is minus 12. And both of those have 5 square roots of 73 as their denominator. And so we just simplify across the top. Minus 24 and 12 is minus 36 over 5 square root of 73. Now, to simplify this, what I've done is I've multiplied the top by square root of 73, and I've multiplied the bottom by square root of 73. So on the top, I just get minus 36 square root of 73. And in the bottom, when you multiply that, it'll become square root of 73 
times square root of 73 will just be 73 times 5, which is uh, 365, 365. And so there we have our answer. There we have our answer.